Hi everybody and welcome to part two of the Google Apps and iOS tutorials with the ETMN. I'm Victoria and I'm going to be taking you through the second part of our tutorial in Google Drive where we're going to be exploring how to share different kinds of documents and folders. So here I am in uh, Google Drive today and I'm just looking at a folder here that has some different uh, assignments and drafts from my graduate program. Now, as you can see right now, I have it in tile view. Last time we kind of explored the different views you can look at in Google Drive. And I'm gonna to switch to list view just to make this a little bit easier for us. On the very right hand side, you're going to see those little eyes. Those little eyes are going to lead us to more information about the uh, sharing and the different kind of actions that we can take on a document or a file that's in Google Drive. Now at this time, uh, this document can be shared with anybody by clicking that little share button. And all I have to do, I'm just going to make the keyboard come together here. All I have to do is type in the name or the email address of whoever I want to share it with. So let's just say I'm going to share it with my West Langley account. I can then, if that email's already been typed in, it's going to auto-populate. Or you might have to type in the full email if you've never typed it in before. And you can give these people uh, that you share with editing, commenting, or viewing capabilities. So depending on what your use is. As soon as you're done, you can click the blue check mark to share with that person, and it will be successfully shared with them that way. If I want to remove an item, I can just click on the garbage can. Or alternatively, I can move them in the different folders that they are in. So if I wanted to move this particular draft, this is thought paper number one, this is a draft, um, to a different folder, I can do that. Um, alternatively, I can print. If you have air print capabilities inside of your school, you can print from the iPad. You can also star, rename, and export these files, uh, depending on, again, what you want to do with them. Or you can get the actual link for the file which when you click that at the very bottom, you're going to see that it's automatically copied to the clipboard. You're also going to see that it had said link sharing is on. What that means is that anybody with the link can access that um, file. So if you look down here to who has access, we see that now that I've clicked the get link, anyone with the link can view. If I tap this, I can turn link sharing back off or I can increase the capabilities. So that is all today for the Google Drive uh, little tutorial. We will be exploring docs and other apps later on in our other tutorials upcoming. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.